Hello everyone and Merry Christmas to all who celebrate. It's Jen from Scrapina Creations. Today I'm sharing three cards using the Lawn Fawn, Car Critters, and the Car Critters Christmas add-on. I could not resist that Christmas add-on. So cute. So I colored a bunch of these uh, watching Christmas movies and I'm going to show you the process for three cards. So I was just showing you there, I also brought in the Sim Slimline Stitched Hillside Borders. And then for my pattern paper today, I'm using the Holiday Cheer 6x6 Paper Pad by Sunny Studio. So for this first card, I wanted to recreate that kind of traditional driving home from Christmas with the snow falling and the kind of snow banks or the hillsides covered in snow. So the background for this card is very simple. I just used the pattern paper for the top of my card. And then I cut out a bunch of these hillside borders with that slimline die that I showed you out of some white cardstock. And then I just cut them up into various sizes. So all of my cards today are A2 size cards, which are four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm just gonna add some cardstock here to the bottom of my card. So this last panel of uh, snowbank is actually going to overhang two different layers of cardstock. So because I wanted that to be level, I'm just adding those two layers from scrap cardstock there on the bottom and my card is perfectly level. So I'm just going to add my stamp block there to let that dry and I'm going to stamp in there's three little stamps for the license plates which are super cute. So there's Merry Christmas, Let It Snow, and Jingle Bells. So I'm just stamping that with my VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink, and then I'm going to put the little car together. So for this one, I'm using the little bit of snow at the top of the car, and then the wreath to the front of the car too. Now it overhangs that license plate a little. I did make sure to stamp that as close to the bottom of the license plate as possible. But it's okay if the wreath overlaps, you definitely can still read what it says, even though it's covering up the tiniest bit of the top. So now I'm gonna add my car critters. And you can see here, I've also cut some of the hillside borders out of the black cardstock as well. So because I want my roads to match the hills, I cut them at the same time that I was cutting the white cardstock. Now for the road that's going to be right behind my car, the easiest way I found to do this to make it look right was to add that piece of black cardstock and kind of trim it around the top of the car so that you could see it behind the little critters. And you wanna make sure that your road in the back is a little bit of a smaller width than it would be to the front because everything, um, you know, the further something gets away, the smaller it becomes. So you just wanna give that illusion that that back piece of the road is a little bit further in the distance. So you'll notice mine is, it's very slight, but yet I think you can really tell that it's fading off into the background. So for the front of the part of the road, I have it the same width as my car. And right now it just looks like black cardstock, but once I bring out my white gel pen, it really makes a big difference for the road. But first I'm going to add the rest of my elements. So I added the gifts to the top of the card. And then I'm just kind of playing around with these trees here. So this tree does come in the stamp set, which is great. It helps you build that little scene. And then I'm just going to use a banner die here, cut out with some white cardstock. These are from the Heffy Doodle Tag Along die set. Now for this card at first, you can see here I'm stamping black ink on white. And after I create the next card where I use a black cardstock and then heat emboss with white, I like that much better and I'll show you I do come back at the end of the video when I'm showing you these cards that I changed up this sentiment and it looks a lot better I think it stands out more and then it just really kind of picks up nicely on the black cardstock for the road so I would suggest doing the black with white heat embossing looks really great you'll see it on the next card so now that I have my sentiment down I'm just fiddling trying to figure out where 
I want to add the trees and you can see here just adding little pieces of cardstock where I need to where the trees will hang off the snow banks here just to make sure they're nice and level and here's where I'm bringing in my white gel pen and the magic happens for the road. Doesn't that look it just changes the whole look of the card and really gives you that driving home from Christmas for Christmas feeling. So the sentiment says driving by to say, and then I think there's happy holidays. I use I'll be home for Christmas. I'll show you the insides of the cards. I'm going to make all of the outsides of the cards. And then when I'm showing you uh, at the end, the recap, I'll show you the insides. So there's that first card complete. I absolutely love how it turned out. And we'll move on to card number two. So card number two is a bit more of a simple design. I thought it would be fun to share one where if you don't want to go through all of the, I don't know, it's definitely a lot more work to create that road, to create the hillside. So if you needed a quick card or you just wanted something more simple, I think this card design works really nicely for that. So I'm just using, you can see there for that gray snowy pattern paper, I'm just using a scrap that I have. So I'm trying to make this work. And then I use the same pattern paper that I used for the first card and I cut out that um, it's the Lawn Fawn reverse scallop stitched window frame circle die. And so that will be the focal point for my card. Now I did want to pop this up, so I'm using some fun foam here, and I just have some double double sided adhesive on both sides. I did add my little hillside here in black cardstock for my road. The car will take up most of the inside there of the scallop circle, so I'm not too worried about it being completely black there on the bottom. It works perfectly for the width of the car. And you could put a white snowbank behind that if you wanted to, but like I said, I wanted to keep this one a little bit more simple. So for this one, I stamped the Let It Snow, and I have a little blue car here. And I'm going to use the little reindeer with his little steering wheel driving the car, so cute. And then I'm gonna use the little bear or polar bear with the present in his hands. And this one I'm going to make into the reindeer car, which a Rudolph car, I guess. Super cute. I've seen many cars over the years have those little ears and then the red nose on the front. So this stamp set just cracked me up. And I, like I said, I fell in love with it. So I'm just adding the little antlers now. Did I say ears before? I meant antlers. And then the little nose here for the Rudolph car. So stinking cute. And because there's multiple areas here with the images that I glued on, I'm just making sure yet again that this is level. So just using scrap cardstock here, I just keep a bunch to the side of where I'm working. And this way I can just easily cut what I need. And this is perfect. And if you wanted even more dimension, you could add some fun foam to this, but I really wanted that front panel to stick up a little bit. So you can see here how the car takes up most of that inside circle, so it's perfect. And then here is my black cardstock sentiment that I heat embossed in white, and I think that looks so much better than the white and black for this pattern paper because this pattern paper is it has so much white, so this stands out much better, and I will go ahead, like I said, and just do this to the first card as well. So now I'm just adding my details with my white gel pen. I'm also actually using a Stardust pen, which is a glitter pen. So I use that for the little lights on the front and then around the license plates and the snow on top of the car for all my cards, and I love how that turned out and then using the white gel pen for highlights and the little dash lines in my road. So we're already on to card number three. This card is my favorite. If you have a favorite, I would love to know which one it is. But I wanted to make a card where it was like they were racing home for Christmas 
and they're coming really fast over a hill and they lose everything on the top of the car. I just thought it would be super cute and funny. So I have my hillside here angled to the right hand side and then you can see I angled the black cardstock that will be the road on that diagonal as well. So I hope it gives the effect. I think once you kind of see it coming together, it it does work to kind of tell that story. But I kind of pictured it as either some young folks just really excited to come home, maybe from university or college, or just in general. I know I live very far from my family and I won't be traveling this year, but there are times when you're just so excited uh, to get home for Christmas that I thought that this card represented that really well. So I am going to add the car so it's not touching the road. So I hope this helps with that illusion of them kind of coming up over the road really quickly or over that hill. I am going to make this into a Rudolph car because why not? It's just so cute. I cannot stand how cute this stamp set is. Again, I'm just going to add, I think, a little bit of cardstock here to the back. Yeah, it just helps because there's so many different layers once you're layering up the little animals. And for this one, I have three of them. So I have the two reindeer in the front and then the little bear at the back holding the present, which I thought added even more character to this car but they're kind of jammed in there getting ready to be home for the holidays. So I have that tree first kind of coming off as they zoom over that hill and then the presents on top of that falling more to the right hand side. I am going to add my dash line on my road here and then I'm going to use the same sentiment so I used the driving by to say for all of them. I just really liked that for the front of the cards. And then I'll play around with uh, the sentiments for the insides of the card. So I'm going to add this sentiment strip over the road. I thought this way it would stand out the most. The pattern paper that I used for my background is a soft gray pattern paper with white snowflakes on it. So just going to trim off that side of the sentiment strip and then I just had a little bit of black ink there so I fixed that up with my white gel pen adding some highlights and here's where I'm using that glitter stardust pen again adding it to that little snow build up and then those little lights and around the license plates and then my black glaze pen here for the eyes and the noses of all our little characters. Super cute. So I did have this wreath left and I was trying to figure out if I wanted it by the sentiment or if I wanted it kind of falling from the top of the car as well. I sort of wanted it beside the road but I felt like it just looked random. So you can see here I'm playing around with placement. I think that would have looked cute as well by the tree but I end up settling kind of having it falling right where I'm placing it there now to that top right hand side. So it looks like everything's kind of falling in sequence so that the wreath was probably at the top of the pile. So I'm just going to show you how I did the insides. I wanted you to have a close up look at the I'll be home for Christmas stamp. Really sweet. And then I am going to go ahead and decorate all of the insides. I had some extra of my characters and critters and stuff left over. Now this one I ended up getting a little bit of black ink to the inside so I'm just going to add a little bit of that pattern paper, a strip down at the bottom there just to hide that and that's a good way to use up your pattern paper as well if you have any scraps left over. So for this one I'm going to use the antlers and the Rudolph nose for the inside of the card. I thought that looked really cute and then I did the insides different for all three of the cards so I will show you those like I said once I recap with all three cards. So I did just need to trim the side of this card a little bit and then I can go ahead and add my card panel here to the card base. 
And then this is ready to go to its new home. So I'm going to slow this down now and recap all the cards for you. For this first card, I also made a second one and added in the Lawn Fawn Slimline Forest Border die there along one of the furthest snowbanks. I thought that looked really cute. And so here's the second card, and then I'll show you the third card as well. I love the insides. I Like I said, I did them all different. And here's the one I made with you. So thanks everybody for watching. Have a very happy and safe holiday season, and I will see you really soon in the next one. Bye. Thank you.